I cannot believe it is another month that has gone by. I don't know where the time is going. I know we say it every month, but where is it going? I can't believe it's already October. And yes, this is another favorite of mine. My cousin actually made this and it is beautiful. So if you are interested in what she does, I'm gonna go ahead and link her down in the description bar, but it is such great quality. You can tell her the, the design that you want, the colors, everything, and even the size of the mug. And yes, that was my kitty. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Samantha and I am a mom who just likes to play with makeup. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back to watch another video. If you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified of future videos. And without further ado, let's get into this. I don't have as many fails as I do loves this, this month. <laughs> um, I also don't have as many non-makeup items. So I hope that's okay with you. Let's start with a positive. I am in love with this lip color and it is this one right here. It is the NYX Super Clicky in on the DL Secret. I love this. It is very pumpkin-y. I thought it was going to be more of like a nudish burgundy but is it is not. It is a matte so if you don't like the matte look or if you don't like seeing the all lines I would recommend putting a gloss on top like what I did. With a gloss, gorgeous. Even without it, it's gorgeous in my opinion. But not everyone likes seeing the lines and that matte look. So if that's you, pair it with a gloss. Speaking of gloss, I put on the NYX Glam Gloss in Beat Goes On on top. It's not a bad gloss. It's That's not at all why I don't like it. One, I'm not a fan of the doe foot, and two, it's just very glittery, and I just don't care for that. It's a horrible view. There we go. It's very glittery, and to me, it just reminds me of, like, children's makeup, and I'm not a fan of the color. I'm not a fan of the texture. I'm not a fan of it. I'm just not a fan. So, I think it'll be great for Halloween, but other than that... It's a pass for me. Along with that, the NYX Halo Graphic, Holographic Halo. I have three different shades here. I have Primal, Reflector, and Arctic Crush. I have two of these on my face right now. I have Primal Instinct and Reflector. They're straight glitter. I mean, straight glitter. You can kind of see them, what the colors are gonna be here. So here's like the bluish one. Here's more of the pink and then more of the purple. Again, I think these are more suited for someone younger than me. I don't like having that straight glitter look. It's just not for me. I don't like it. Again, Halloween's coming. I'm sure I'll be able to use it for that, or at least for my daughter, but I don't like it. So it's a pass. The Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1, this is really pretty. I'm wearing it underneath, and before this, it was a great primer. I don't really care for it as a highlighter. You can barely see it. I like how I missed my hand. As a highlighter, it's just not very prominent. So I don't, I also wouldn't use this as a, under eye concealer, it just would not cover for me. So use it for what you would like. For me, I love it as a primer. It added more of a hydrated, glowy, dewy look for me. And paired with a matte foundation, I love it. The L'Oreal Paris Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. This oxidized so much on me. It looked like it was going to blend perfectly and it did. And then it turned yellow. And it looked like I've never done makeup a day in my life. 
so I don't like this. Um, it didn't work for me. Did not work for me. And that was all for my bads. So I don't have any more negative things to say. Thank goodness. The Believe Beauty Master at Matte. Um, I didn't notice it being mattifying, but look at this spray. It has the best mister I have ever seen. I love it. It's just, it's beautiful. I do like it even as a setting spray. Again, I don't, I didn't notice it as being matte, but I do feel like it helped my makeup to set into the skin, and for that, I like it. I also have their eyebrow pencil. This is my favorite brow pencil. I have it on right now. It is very waxy and creamy. Creamy, not waxy. It is very creamy, so not many people care for that. And I did not think I was going to like this either. I really thought I was going to hate it. But it is beautiful. I love it. It went straight into my bag. I know I normally just do drugstore. I know. I prefer drugstore. But in the Laura Lee's, but in Laura Lee's PR box, I got the Huda Beauty Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And this is beautiful. This may be my favorite bronzer. And I hate saying that because it's pretty expensive. But if you want to splurge, this is beautiful. I would highly recommend it. And this is in tan light. And then we have the ColourPop Such a Rush Cheek Palette. These colors are beautiful. I love these. I love the bronzer. I love the highlighter. I love the blushes. It's all around gorgeous. And especially for fall, I think these blush shades are just amazing. They're very soft and very creamy. Not creamy, just soft. <laughs> They're very soft. And they blend so well. Like, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this. I'm keeping this in my bag for fall, and I'm not usually one to use powders, so the fact that I love these powders, to me, is shocking. Shocking. So, these powders, I love. I fell in love with this eyeshadow palette. I think it's gorgeous. Again, great for fall. And you can do so many different looks. You can do pops of color. You can just do neutrals. You can do shimmers. You can do mattes. It has so many great looks for it. And plus, look at how cute the packaging is. It's adorable. So I really, really like this. I think it is so adorable, and I love it. So if you're able to snag this, definitely go check it out and snag it. That's actually everything that I have for this month. I didn't want to go too crazy, and I didn't want it just to be all makeup, because I could keep going on and on about all the makeup I love. But I won't, because there's a lot. So, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will see you next month for another round of My Faves and Fails.